Before we get into the run, uh, I just want to quickly give a disclaimer. This was originally supposed to be done with Dagoth, uh, but the bugs with Dagoth made it so unusable. The build was powerful and it was good when it worked, but oftentimes it just didn't. My third ability would fail, my Vazarin dashes would fail, my operator would bug out, and ultimately the consistencies were just so unusable and it made the build so janky that I decided I would use something different instead. There were several instances where my UI would freeze and like I would just have the filth from the Dagoth third ability covering my energy count, my arcanes, my ability timers and everything. It was awful. I will be retackling Dagoth uh, in a different project and with maybe a different setup, but in the meantime, just know that Dagoth is kind of low on my list of frames that I want to use exclusively for this sheer amount of bugs and jankiness that comes with using her kit. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to say about this build and about like the setup that I used. Um, in the run, uh, I died a lot. This build is probably one of the hardest builds uh, to use 
because you have to get hit by the enemies in order to use it. And in most level cap content or in high level content, getting hit means instantly dying. For the most part, when we play, we use things like invisibility or like Vazrin uh, just to not die constantly because enemy damage scaling is infinite. It, the multiplier scales uh, exponentially and it can be really difficult to stay alive. So this build actually comes with its own set of difficulties, uh, but I do actually wholeheartedly believe that this is probably the most powerful melee weapon in all of Warframe. Maybe not the most versatile, but just the ability uh, via its augment mod to absorb enemy damage and then reflect that damage uh, and multiply it uh, at whatever convenience, at whatever leisure, is just so powerful. It is a really silly weapon uh, with a really silly synergy and a really silly mechanic. So I do, I do wholeheartedly think that this is the strongest melee weapon that there is. Um, probably not the most versatile. I wouldn't say that this is the most utility-oriented weapon, but I do think that the build is really, really strong, uh, even at low-level content. Uh, you know you can absorb as little as 4,000 damage with it, and it will do more than max stacking condition overload uh, when you heavy attack. Um, that being said, uh, because of the difficulty of using a setup like this, I will say that for low level content, you are actually probably better off just using condition overload because you don't need that absurd amount of damage, right? When you're at like level 100 to 500, you can absolutely just get away with using condition overload and it it's genuinely faster um but for high level endurance runs that are like uh level 9000 uh and and so on it, it is actually super super strong and way better than using condition overload bar those difficulties i mentioned Another thing to note is that you can absolutely get a way better Riven than I did. Uh, ideally, the best stat you are looking for when you're rolling a Riven for this setup is any of your elemental bonuses, right? Your cold damage, uh, your electric damage, uh, in the form of those mods. Not only is that going to be really good utility-wise to convert your damage from... In my run, I had gas damage because we're using Prime Fever Strike for that elemental multiplier. But uh, converting that so that you get something like Corrosive or Radiation or Viral, which is way better as a damage type for the setup. Um, uh, not just that, but also getting a, that, that high multiplier out of it, that high elemental bonus, is going to skill your damage way, way, way more. Uh, elemental is probably the most important part of this build because you don't need direct damage bonus at all whatsoever. I also want to take this time to give a massive shout out to one of the community members in the Dystopia Discord server, uh, Daphne. You're a fucking real one running this mission with me. Uh, partially just exploited for the sake of I needed a lot of revives for the run, obviously, because I was dying so much in the early game trying to kind of figure out how to use the build. Once I got my head around it and I kind of understood the build, uh, it, w it was actually much easier to use. Um, and once I kind of got over the idea of using blocking combo, because blocking combo is really worthless, once I just like got over that, uh, the build became like 10,000 times easier to use, but I still... 100% owe this entire run to Daphne uh, for just absolutely carrying me in those early stages where I was trying to figure out how to use the build. This was a frustrating, slow, really annoying build to use up until I started feeling it and up until I started getting used to it. So big shout out there, obviously. Uh, speaking of the Dystopia Discord server, I have made my own. Uh, I have side branched away from the Dystopia server. We're still good friends. No, you know, we're not going through a divorce or anything, but uh, I have made my own YouTube, uh, Discord server. Um, that's going to have my uploads uh, linked for it. Uh, that's also going to be, I'm going to be doing some clan related stuff. Uh, right now my clan is private, but eventually it will be going public. Uh, I just have a couple more projects that I'm working on as far as like grinding resources and pigments and and getting a couple more rooms fine-tuned. I'm in the process of working with a couple close friends, but once we're done with that, uh, our plan is to expand and make the uh, dojo public for all people to join in. So join the Discord if you guys want alerts on that, if you guys want to be updated with when our clan goes public. Um, 
as well as just other projects I'm working on. I've got a couple things like tutorials that I'm working on, uh, specifically linked in my Discord server so that you just kind of have this nice information dump of how I'm doing what I'm doing and what it is I'm even working on. I'll just have that in a nice big puddle for you to look at. I'll have a section dedicated to my calculators pretty soon, and uh, I'm working on integrating some bots into the server. I actually entirely forgot when I made the server to finish integrating the Riven grading bot. Um, so I'm going to be working on that, and I'm also going to be on the lookout for anybody who actually is in the realm of bot development because I want to develop my own ribbon grading bot because I think that the current ones that exist are kind of arbitrary. They're really only there for people who are trading in the ribbon market. And I think that ribbon grades are actually a useful tool for determining the bonuses on your weapon. Like actually like building wise, uh, I didn't even mention it, but during this run, when I was initially doing the math and I was initially finding setups for the Sylvan Agus here, and I was like trying to figure out what I wanted on my Riven, I used the Riven calculator that I talked about at the end of that one nerd video. Uh, and I used my own math to figure out and determine what bonuses would min max my Riven and what would give me the best results when doing this run so i think that uh a riven grading bot that is more than just a grading bot but also kind of gives you those relative and those effective increases for your damage uh is a super useful tool that nobody's capitalized on yet so i'm gonna keep working on that stuff in the background working on clan stuff uh the discord server uh will be linked in the description for this video i'll have calculator pin comment all all, all the stuff all the links and all the places music is where the music goes and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have, actually. I think I, I got through everything. So, you know, do the YouTube buttons, like, subscribe, uh, tell me about your day, ask questions if you guys are curious about how the build works or if you guys would like to know more about a different kind of setup or what it is I'm working on next. Uh, if you guys are curious about what I'm working on with the Dagoth, uh, I said it in the beginning of the video that it wasn't going to be on my plate, but uh, I ended up changing my mind a little bit because it's been so long. I started recording this video and working on this video like a couple weeks ago <laughs> and uh, have been continuously working on it. So there's uh, there's more to come. There, there's a lot more to come. And if you guys are curious about like what I'm doing in the future, I'll be happy to give you some hints and some spoilers. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So take care. Have a good day. Or night. I don't know what time it is for you. It could be yesterday right now. You'd never know.